There are many people who covet positions of power and authority. They want to do great work in God's kingdom. They want to do the work of the ministry. But when they do ministry work, they're doing it because they want to seek approval of men. They want to be highly esteemed and praised and honored. But it says in the Bible, Jesus told the disciples that those who are greatest among us, those who have been bestowed of power, some position of authority, we're, we're called to be servants. And so I'm going to be reading here from the book of Matthew, chapter 23, and I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 11. And it says, Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called master, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. So basically what Jesus was telling the disciples is that the Pharisees, basically what they were, they, they, they had all these principles and laws for the people to follow, but they themselves were not following them. They were basically hypocrites. They cast heavy burdens on the people. They expected a lot of their own people to do all of these things, but they themselves would not do it. And when they did anything, they were not doing it out of the genuine love of God or the love of Christ. They were doing it. Not because they love the people or they want to help the people. They did everything to be seen by men. They wanted to be admired. They wanted to be upheld and highly esteemed. They wanted to be praised. They wanted to seek some type of something in return. They wanted something in return. They were not doing anything so that they can meet the needs of the people. They were themselves seeking to be, a, be praised. And so I'm going to continue to read here. And I'm looking at verse 12 and it says, and who, whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So as you know, a lot of people, a lot of pastors, a lot of people who are in ministry, again, they're seeking titles. They want a title. They want to be great. They want to be called this. They want people to respect them and hold them in high esteem. But we really call to be lowly servants. Jesus himself served. When he was here, he washed the disciples' feet. He went about. He healed the sick. He went to people's houses. And he taught them. He met the people's needs. He fed the people when they were hungry. He fed the 5,000. He met the needs of the people. They were not, he, he was not seeking to be praised. He was not sitting there having them feed him and, and put him in these exclusive extravagant hotels. And so you have people now, they go into these ministries because they want to be highly praised. They want to be highly esteemed. They want to gain some type of authority and privilege. I, I remember I went to, I used to go, I had a lot of experiences back in years ago when I first came back to God and he had me first going into ministry work and I didn't know what I was facing up against. But I remember at one time I written to, I went to this church and there was this, this pastor, they had this cafe and every time we were getting ready to eat, the people were, we had to pay for the food. They, they had the cafe in there and they, we had to pay for the food. And so we we were, I was there with my children. We were trying to eat and I saw the pastor. He would always go in there and they would fix his food first. Even though we came down in order, they would have the pastor sit there at the table and everybody would have to wait for their food until they fried up all the food for the pastor. And it just, we would all have to wait while he was served first. And he was served and the Lord was just showing me this stuff did not make any sense. And then there was another place where I went to this pastor and the Lord had told me, because I was having trouble back and forth, then I had gotten a car and I could not get back and forth to work. I was actually walking. And I was going to this man's church. And this was this man, this type of man, he, he, he would give out stuff all the time. He would have these giveaways, but he would always call the news and this news would always come up there. And it's like, whatever he had this giveaway, he would have it broadcasted. And so the Lord told me to go to the church and, and, and ask this pastor to help me buy a vehicle to get me a car. And so I just, I thought it was absurd. I'm like, Lord, the Holy Spirit was letting me know this to do it. And so, okay, so I'm going to be obedient to God. And I asked him, I said, you know, the Lord said, you're supposed to bless me with a vehicle. I need a vehicle to get back and forth work. I asked him, can he buy me a car? I said, no. He's, he just had his security take me away. Like your God didn't tell me anything. And he says, it was just very rude the way he did. And the Lord would just show me, he would show me back to the scripture, how people who are seeking admiration from men, they'll put on this show. As he said, the Pharisees, when they do anything, they broadcast it, but they don't really meet the needs of the people. And I have been encountering these type of pastors and these type of people in the church for a long time. And then God wanted me to speak out about it so they could be corrected. And so 
there was another man when we went to his church. When I had first gotten my children taken, I talked about this story before I had gotten my children taken um, when they were first placed in foster care. And I was so distraught and upset and I called them and I told them I needed help in prayer. And the pastor, he, he sent someone for me to talk to, but these people never called me and never contacted me again. I went to the hospital to visit my daughter who was in the hospital sick and I was talking to my son and I would see other pastors come in there and pray with the patients, pray with their, their, they had pastors actually came in there and this pastor, I'm like, I understand that when you have a ministry work, there are many people that you might have to meet the needs of, but God calls us to meet the needs of the people. We're supposed to be meeting the needs of the people. And a lot of people who are in ministry, they are not meeting the needs of the people. And so God had me doing this early. He was showing me, he was having me do this early where when I was first in ministry work, like I said, I would go around the neighborhood and I would go to people's houses. I would meet their needs if they needed money or food. I would buy them groceries for their children. I would help them with their kids. I would help them if they needed if some of the young girls needed a break or I would go upstairs and, and, and pray with neighbors and who was sick or confined to their houses. I remember there was an elderly woman who needed help. She was getting ready. She had no one to move her stuff. And I went in there and I, I volunteered my time and cleaned up her garage for her. And God was showing me how to serve. He was showing me that when we are, when we are great in his kingdom, he's called us. We're supposed to be humble to the point where we are now meeting the needs of the people. We're not supposed to be seeking the people to meet our needs. We're in ministry work to meet the needs of the people. And there are many people who go into ministry and they either they start out well or they, they just become filled with pride or, or they just go into it for the wrong reasons. They're, they don't realize that they're supposed to be meeting the needs of the people. We're supposed to serve. As you see how Jesus Christ, he served. The disciples didn't wash his feet. He washed their feet. He was a servant to them. He met the needs of the people. And so this is how you can tell when you're truly filled with God's spirit, you're going to have a desire to serve. You're going to have a desire to meet the needs of the people. And those who are great, those who have more, as you know, to whom much is given, much is required. There are people walking around here. And they have. And the Lord has shown me how when we were, we were poor and walking around, we were poor for many years. Didn't have anything. And no one would meet our needs or go to church. And, and a lot of them would, wouldn't help us with anything. And so this is the point, even when, when you don't have anything, you're supposed to bless and help. Like I talked about when I was in Florida, we went to a church. Yeah, they, they helped us with $100. But they, they were supposed to put us in their, their, their home. They're supposed to put us in somewhere and, and lodge us somewhere because we were living on the streets. And they did not meet the needs. And this is when he talks about in the Bible. When he talks about when you say, I've cast out devils in your name and I've done these things. And he says, well, when I was sick, when I was sick, did you come and visit me? When I was in the prisons, did you come to me? When when I when I was uh, when I needed shelter, did you take me in? Did you feed me? He says, when when the the disciple the, the, the people were saying, well, when did we see you doing this, Master? When did we see this? And he says the same as you did to one of these little ones, you did it to me. Or if you denied these little ones, those you denied me. So when we're turning people away. When you're in ministry work and there's people who have true needs and you're not meeting the needs of the people, and you turn them away. It's just as if you're turning Jesus Christ Himself away. And this is where he says, depart from me. I do not know you. You're wicked. Your heart is wicked because when you're in ministry, it's not about you being serviced. It's not about you getting your needs met and the people serving you. And so many people have, have who have gotten into ministry. They're at the level where they're making themselves kings and queens. They're sitting up on their thrones. They have all this money. This is why you see these pastors and these churches when, yeah, they have millions of dollars and they're living in these big homes. And yet it's nothing wrong with them having wealth, but no one in your church should be in no kind of need. If you have that type of money, there should not be a member of your congregation who is in lack. Because you are supposed to be serving the needs of the people now. You're not here to be exalted. And there are so many people. They get this prideful spirit. They think that man is there to serve them. Oh, they, they, they throw around their titles. I'm this, a bishop that. I'm this. I, I, I'm reverend this. And, and they, they, they throw around these titles as if they're royalty. And they look down on the people and despise the people and expect the people to serve and help them. But it's the people who you're supposed to be serving. Jesus Christ served the people. The disciples served and met the needs of the people and people have it backwards on their ministry. He says, if you're great, if you aspire to be great, meaning you want a position of power and authority. You want to be elevated. You want God to promote you. You're supposed to serve. He said, the greatest will be a servant. You're going to be a servant to the people. And God was teaching me that early to be a servant, to meet the needs of the people. And sometimes, yeah, you might have to meet the needs of the people. And your needs will not be going, would, would be unmet. That's just how it is. But you have to continue to trust because, see, when God puts you in a position of power, as it always talks about those who are greatest, even leaders, leaders, great leaders learn how to serve. 
They learn how to serve the people. You can't just be a leader. You can't be great if you don't know how to serve. And there's too many people who are doing it backwards. They want to be great. They want to have all this power, but they don't know how to serve anyone. They don't know how to meet the needs. They don't know how to be humble. And then as you see, and it says in the Bible, those who, who exalt themselves, they should be abased. You're going to be hum humbled. But those who humble themselves will be exalted, meaning God's going to give you the glory. You're not supposed to run around and, and top your title and, 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 and use it as a means to get what you want. No, but you're supposed to use it as a way to, to help others. When you have your position, when God has blessed you with a position, you're supposed to use it in, in either, either way you can. If he's giving you a gift, even with the gifts he's talking about, when God has blessed you with a gift, you're supposed to use that gift and, and not be seeking to receive anything in return. There could come, be, come to a point where you use your gift to help those, those who are in need, who, who have nothing to give you. And he says, like he says, if you do something in secret, he's going to bless you in the open. When we give, we're not supposed to broadcast it and, and, and show it. We have a whole camera crew come down and say, hey, look, look what I'm doing. I'm giving out. Look at me. I'm great. Look at me. I'm giving out to these lowly people because they don't have anything. They need me. Look how important I am. See, you're exalting yourself now. And that's what God says. You, you, you have your reward. See, when you're humble and you do things in secret and you give and no one knows about it. See, no one knew what I was doing. I was walking around doing these things. With people. I did it because I was being obedient to God and I wanted to serve. I didn't have to have anyone to, to know what I was doing. I had to carry a camera around and show what I was doing. Because it was something that came truly from the heart. And when you're in ministry, you're going to make sure your people are fed first. You're going to make sure your people's needs are met. You're not going to be sitting in a lavish home while your people are suffering and, and, and living on welfare and food and can't even get a car to get back and forth to work and they have children. That's the thing. That's what God is talking about. You're supposed to be a servant. And many people have gotten this backwards. They have the roles reversed. They want to be great, but they don't want to serve. They don't know how to serve. They don't know how to meet the needs of the people. They don't know how to show love and compassion. This is wicked. And this is what God is saying. A lot of people are not going to get to heaven. They're going to think they're thinking of getting to heaven. But your works, you, you, you're doing your works. You're broadcasting your alms before men. He said not to cast your alms before men. We're supposed to do things in secret as we're doing it to God. When we work, we work as if we're working unto him. He is our, our boss now. We're not to be working to please men. We're supposed to work to please God, to honor him, to please Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And so many, many people who are walking around now and you're not serving, you're not doing what God called you to do. You need to get that together. Because when God comes back, when he comes back to get his church, he's going to look at you. He's going to ask you, what did you do? Who did you serve? Did you serve yourself? Or did you serve me by serving my people? 